So I'm going to use the Stephanotis one, which I also used on the Impossible card a few weeks ago now. But for the one, and I'll show you that one towards the end, I used the Zinnia, Zinnia. <laughs> really nice. And you can catch that tutorial if you want to see me make it from the beginning on the Facebook Live. And I'll link that in the description box below. So I've already coloured these all in and stamped them. And I've gone for purple instead of white for these ones. I've got my little caterpillar, my picket fence, and I'll show you everything I've used for that in a moment. So to make the pop-up part, you're going to need a piece of eight and a half by five. And along the eight and a half side, you're going to score it seven. And then just fold that. And that's going to be, it's going to be a bottom fold card. So it will fold down like this. And then the acetate will be here. If you don't want to have the acetate, then bring this piece so it's uh, five by seven and a half. Still score at seven, so you've just got half an inch tab, and then cut another piece that's five by seven, and then you'll fold that over so you've got your half inch tab, and then just stick your five by seven piece over. So then you've got a bottom fold five by seven card, but without the acetate. Then you want these pieces here, which are for your tears. Now they're all the same width, which is just under five. You just want to bring it in so that it will definitely all stick within this piece here. So just, I mean, you can do it exactly at five, but sometimes it might be slightly off and you'll see it on the edges. So if you just come in a little bit, so just under five by five, this piece, and you want to score at half an inch, one and four and a half. And then again, same width, but this one is by four and a half. And you're going to score at half an inch, one and four. And then again, same width as before, but this one's by four. And then you're going to score at half, one and three and a half. You also want a piece of acetate, which is five by six and seven eighths. Just bring it in slightly lower than the seven inches, just so again, it all fits within the card. So I've just added some double sided tape all within this section here. And then I'm going to attach my acetate. You just want it below the score line and just give that a really good burnish like so. So now we've got our bottom fold. So that's going to drop down. And, and this is a construction weight acetate. So there's already some weight to that. So it's going to drop down. You can see it falls down really nicely. And with all of these ones here, you want to start with the largest one. Fold and burnish all of the folds. Now the end with the two pieces, that's going to go towards the top and the single tab there will be on the bottom so because I've got the acetate I need to use double-sided tape for this to stick but if you're using cardstock then you can just add some glue along this tab and make sure that's burnished and then just take the backing off there and just bring this side up and you're going to stick this one if you tilt it up first and get it lined up with the score line and all in place and then drop it down okay so we've got that one where we need it to be and now I can add my liquid glue to just the outer tab. So all along there. And then just fold both over. So you've got two tabs like so. And then close the card. And you want everything to be concealed within that five by seven size. So that's why I said about just bringing it in slightly by the on the width. It just ensures it's all in there. And now when you lift that up, you'll see we've got that first pop up piece and then I'm going to take the next one so again you want the two towards the top single one at the bottom so again I've just popped the tape along the bottom again just tilt it slightly so you can position it and then drop that down so this is that medium size so you glue all along the edge fold over so you've got the two facing you and then close the card and again you can see now we've got our two tiers and then you're going to do exactly the same with the last one okay so now we've got our three tiers in place i've then got this piece here which is going to go in the back so you can you know stamp directly onto this you might want to pop a little bit of stenciling on there i think i'm going to keep this one plain so this is four and three quarters by three and a quarter actually i might emboss that piece but that's going to go there 
and then my picket fence piece is going to go on the front here now this is from my older this is the six by six garden delights twist and pop set so you get all these elements you can see the picket fence is there it's a really nice big die so you can use it you know on all kinds of projects and then there's also the little caterpillar there and that's what i've cut out as well in green so i'm not sure if that one's still available but if it is i will link it below so that one's going to go there and then i've got all the flowers which i can cut into so already i can see i'm not going to need that whole piece but that one could go be quite nice in the middle tier there so I can just pop a little bit of glue at the bottom there and stick that one in there. And then I could take this little piece and just build up a few of them on the back. And I can stick right on to the very back section there as well. And I might do that with a little bit of foam because you can see this is an, another version that I've done. So you can see this flower is stuck directly onto the back with a little bit of foam. I've done a little bit of inking there with a cloud stencil. And you can see then I've stuck them and then I've done that arrangement on the front. So I'm going to have a little play around with this and I'm going to, I've already stamped my sentiment and that was from the Floral Friends, which is an older Crafters Companion one. This piece is four and a half by about seven eighths. It depends on the size of the, size of the sentiment. And this piece is one, the purple piece is one by four and three quarters. This piece, I don't think I gave the measurement, is three by five. It's going to go just there. So I'm going to have a little play around. I'm going to pop it on high speed, but you'll be able to see me stick all this down. And there's the finished cards. That's how it looks in the envelope. So I pop it in a box envelope or one of my bouncy envelopes and I'll have those popping up now. And then you just pull it down so it's really easy for the recipient to know what to do. And there's quite a lot of weight on that now with the acetate and then these layers. So it does stand up quite nicely on its own. And then because I had so much left over, I've just popped a bit more decoration on the back. And this white piece of cardstock's four and three quarters by six and three quarters. So that's the purple one. And then you've got the peachy colors there. Same sentiment, but just a different arrangement. I think they look lovely. In fact, I'm going to add some of my accent glaze to that as well. But also, I just wanted to show you, this is a six by six version that I did first. I did this in my video where it's four, four fold cards or something. Again, I'll have that popping up now. But if you do prefer six by six size, then there's this lovely under the water scene that I've created using some of my stamps there. And then this is a lovely edge die, but you don't need that die. You can freehand cut some waves and things like that, or you can have any, you know, theme. So you might want to do the florals, but in the six by six size. And again, you've got your space on the back there to write your message. But I'll just quickly add some of my glaze here. So this is just the accent glaze. So it just gives you, you can see on the flowers there in the centers, got that lovely little bit of shine. So I'm just going to pop a, just a little kind of bead of the glaze there and because it's a little bit thicker it will just keep its dimension I just bring it up a bit close there you should hopefully be able to see them and if you want them to spread out a little bit more just tap the bottom or just you know tap it on the surface there and they will just spread out a bit more so I hope you've enjoyed these pop-up five by seven cards from me today like i said if you prefer six by six size then check out that tutorial which will be linked and i'll have everything linked in the description box below along with the product that i've used as well as always thank you for watching if you've enjoyed today and you've not subscribed consider subscribing and if you hit the notification bell then you won't miss any future tutorials see you all again soon bye